There we go. Now we're with the very fine Allie Breen has joined us. Uh, Allie Breen is Hi, a stand-up comedian, Hi, and she is the hostess. Hi, friend. Of, uh, of Sexy Time, the show where we try to help you with your romantic problems. Allie, what have you got? Dear Allie, my husband is an only child and very close to his mom. For Valentine's Day, he got me a beautiful necklace, and I just found out he got the exact same thing for her. I got mad at him, and he doesn't understand why, and I said it takes all the romance out of it. I don't think he so. He says the sentiment is obviously different for each of us, but he just knew we'd both love it. How do I get him to understand he's being super creepy? Oh, I don't that, think it's that, creepy. I don't think that's creepy. I don't really think it's creepy. Uh, Rhea, I'm surprised I to hear do. you guys. Uh, I don't know. I love guys that love their mom. Well, sure. Yeah, like, I, I think it's kind of sweet. It. it is very sweet. Unless they're mama boys that like, Mommy, I need you to do this for me. But I would have thought this was a bad thing to get your mother and your lover the same gift. Oh, it depends. I'm with Josh I mean, if, on this one. Well, really? Yeah. I mean, if it were yeah, something, if, like... if it were something of a of a sexual nature, like if it was a, <laughs> all right, you know, like Don't hey, I, I bought you both the Love Wand Seven Thousand yeah. <laughs> Diesel <laughs> Edition. But no, it's a it's a, <laughs> a heart shaped necklace, right? Isn't that what you said? It's a necklace. It didn't say heart shaped, oh, but yeah, I would assume. Um, but... Here's the thing. He's a guy. Uh, most guys don't yeah. think about this kind of thing. Being he, he got you something he thought he was... Don't be upset that he doesn't understand. But I do kind of agree with you that he should have gone with something a little different. I mean... I <laughs> Even a different color than silver and gold. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's a fair point. But yeah, he's just a guy and he's like, what? Yeah, he doesn't get it. And hey. don't be mad at him for that. He, he's, he's like, one stop shopping. This is perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but he sounds like a guy has something really nice. It does. So that's the thing. Just try I mean, to be, be one thing. By the way, the butt plug, the blue one I got for mom. <laughs> <laughs> the blue, yeah, that's her favorite color. <laughs> but then he'd be changing it up at least. There'd be a different color. Yeah, yeah. He'd be okay. Oh, yeah, no. I, this is the kind of dumb thing I would have done. Exactly. Yeah, give the guy I, yeah, I wouldn't thinking, have thought twice right. about it. Give the guy a break. Okay. But that's what the girl will get mad about, the sentiment. Like, how did you not have romantic feelings for me when you bought this necklace? He did. And then you thought, like, that's exactly... It's like when a guy buys, like, a vacuum cleaner for his wife. Because he's, he's like, but you need it. You'd love it. And mm -hmm. she's like, but I wanted romance. I think right. that's what's going on here. Yeah, the vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. there, the va better, there yeah. better be a necklace hanging from the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Than yeah. Never buy an appliance. <laughs> yeah, that's never a thing. Yeah, but I, an this guy cord. didn't... Yeah, but it sounds like a nice guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Likes his mom. Yeah. I like the guy even more. Yeah, cut him a little slack. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. He'll know next time. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. He's learned his lesson, oh, yeah, trust me. What'd you get yeah. him? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's a good point. I mean, girls aren't obligated to get the guy anything for Valentine's Oh, really? Day. What? I what? think, yeah. Oh, this is America. No, 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 no. <laughs> I bought my husband a Valentine gift, of course. You Did, know. No, now, let me ask you this. Was it something practical? Yes, See, because it goes, it goes different than yeah. For the guys guy. like practical, so it's yeah. okay. You give him like a black and decker drill. It wasn't oh, a drill, yeah. but yeah, yeah, but he would have like liked it. I think. Okay. It was a small gift, but he liked it. Yeah, it's hard to get a guy something non-practical. You can't get them jewelry, really, or you know, makeup. Right. It's right. tough. I had a girl give me flowers one time. Did you like it? Oh. I hated it. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Uh, it was nice, but what I was a stupid gift is this. I would have <laughs> rather, <laughs> rather had like a magnetic screwdriver. Or yeah. I, I had a girlfriend, money. and I lived with her. She gave me a toaster oven for Christmas. But yeah, but that's that sounds like ace to me. That sounds, that sounds like great. ace. Yeah. Yeah. My really? boyfriend an air fryer for Christmas. I thought I was doing a great job, and he was like an air fryer. <laughs> this was like a few years ago. What's wrong with that? I didn't. I thought ace. This fine. isn't a. This is not a criticism, but we know your diet. I would have thought you go through two or three air. <laughs> Toaster ovens a year. Yeah. Isn't it mostly pizza rolls? <laughs> <laughs> I she nailed it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. You know, gift giving is difficult at all, like, is all the time. Difficult. And I think that this woman. Did getting... you get a gift on Valentine's Day? <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, really. Maybe even from your girls? Uh, but I certainly did. Oh, how nice. Yeah. All yeah. right. Some handmade Valentine's. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's like, the, did your, uh, especially from the girls. That, you know, that's what you want yeah. more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Like your children get you drawing. some edible underwear or something? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you go have diarrhea somewhere else, please? <laughs> I don't have <laughs> diarrhea. Well, Evidently, uh, you have <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> uh, this is just, uh, uh, could we move on? What's our next letter, Alan? Yeah. 
Dear Allie, I drunkenly hooked up with my friend's boyfriend. Yeah, you did. Recently. <laughs> yeah, he did. told her about it <laughs> because he felt guilty and he said to her that we did hook up, but we did not have sex. That is true, but it's only because he couldn't stand at attention, so to speak. Oh. And believe me, he kept trying. He's making it seem like I would have been game, but his morals stopped him. And now my friend won't talk to me. And I think I should tell her the truth. What do you guys think? Uh, I think you already botched it because he told her first, right? Yeah. Like the boyfriend admitted the truth. So now what? Like you're just. Ugh. I wonder why she's not. Yeah, this detail is not going to be that important. On right. No, it really else, isn't. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Why isn't she mad at the boyfriend? It's not her fault. Yeah, how's he Takes being? Yeah, how, wait a minute. Right. How's Mr. Clean getting out of this? That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I, look at it this way. This is how I would look at it. You are now free from those people. You know, like I, <laughs> two less friends. Yeah, sounds you, great. You, you don't have to get them a toaster oven for Christmas. Yeah, you're, you're on. You're on your own. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Plus side, always a silver lining. Yeah, I guess though that that is an indication that the guy wasn't being honest with her. Maybe he was saying, "Oh, your friend came on to me so right. hard. I couldn't even. I did a little bit, but then I stopped her." Yes, exactly. That's why she's and she's you believing her boyfriend. That girl's yeah. going to get hers in the end because he'll do something else. Well, and, and also you don't deserve to be the friend. I mean, you cheated. Right. <laughs> this is right. the consequence. You did you, cheat. Yeah. No one's a good guy here. No, so yeah. In a game of losers, there are no winners. That's right. Thank you, chick. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hope this guy can get that it should together. Should be on a T-shirt. Well, somebody. I'm sure, yeah. It sounds like yeah. he may have been hammered. They should yes. go to a, be a monk or be a nun. Leave okay, us okay. <laughs> uh, let's go to our next letter. Allie Breed, it's sexy time. You can reach Allie. She spells her name A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. And on uh, your favorite social media platform, you can weigh in with your love troubles. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, I have two fake Instagram accounts that I use to stalk people I'm dating. Out of boy. Innocently, Mania. usually. Or is it a girl? Is it a girl or a boy? It's a, it's a girl. Gotta be a girl. The guy I'm dating now just got pretty serious with me. He asked if we could, you know, be boyfriend, girlfriend. And so a few weeks later, I used one of these accounts to DM him and see if he'd bite. Well, he did. And he's being very flirty. And I'm devastated that he fell for it. It's too hard for me not to say anything, but I also want to see how far he'll go with this. The problem is, even if he stops responding to her now, I'm already mad. What should I do? Just quit seeing the guy. Yeah. You're a weird you should, dude. Yeah. You should commit yourself. Oh, you've, yes. been, uh, you've been looking for a way out. Congratulations. Yeah. There's the it. door. How Wait a second, that? Josh. I want to hear your take on this. Uh, commit yourself. Take yourself to the nearest <laughs> mental hospital and stay there for a oh, while. Oh, I think she should just commit to the role. Meet up no. as the big girl, and he sees you. He knows it's over, so that's your way of saying, "Let's have some breakup sex, and oh let's just call God. it." Too that's much work. Great Ma'am, live a healthier life, please. This is not yeah. good behavior. No, that is a great gotcha, though. If she actually plans a date using her fake account, yes. and then she herself shows yeah. up, yes, that's a good heart. That is the uh, that's like the that. point. A great gotcha. You're right. Well, it's a <laughs> You win. It's so you can break yeah. up in person. Uh, if, if a person does this to you, if they say, if you're going on a date right. and it ends up being this other person, mm -hmm. you are allowed to stab them in the hand with your fork. <laughs> that okay. should be the law. I don't think it they're is. They're both the wrong. Law. <laughs> so that's the best part. Yeah. Man. Have fun with it. You oh. lunatic. Okay. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Dear Allie, my wife and I are in therapy to try to get the spice back in our sex life. I love the idea of this, but I think that we're just too familiar with each other to recreate any big kind of excitement. I'm actually fine with boring sex, and it's weird we're trying to insert a stranger and now lingerie and toys into this. I'm really ready to just allow her to cheat if she needs to. Oh, I don't want to make our sex life work, but I don't want to make her feel bad. What should I do? Well, at least you got a good attitude. Yeah. 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 Sounds like you're uh, signed. <laughs> signed. The game's on tonight. I can't be there. <laughs> Man, this is kind of a different scenario. You don't hear this very often. The guy's yeah. going, yeah, I'm just going to let her cheat. I don't want to put any effort in it. Right. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just doesn't want. Still, Maybe just tell her that then. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. I, but you know. that would hurt her feelings, I think. Well, unless but she's a maintain. stupid loudmouth. <laughs> but that <laughs> goes without saying. Yeah. I still say if you can delegate like the feelings in your relationship, if you can say like, oh, we're having trouble with communication, you can go talk to a therapist. If you're having sex problems, you can delegate the sex. You can be like, all right, I guess we'll hang out, and watch the game, and then you'll go cheat afterwards.
and come back home. So I, there right. probably are couples who live a very work. happy yeah. life like that. But they don't um, consider it cheating. They consider it just part of their open. The yeah. real advice here: keep talk, keep going, keep talking to your therapist and her, and tell your therapist all of this, even if you have to do it alone. I can fix this in one word. Oh, oh boy, let's hear it. Zorro, Zorro. <laughs> you dress up as Zorro, <laughs> cape. What? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Let's, hear, a, him, let's hear him out. <laughs> what a cape, great idea. Okay. Cape, hat, sword, nothing else. You walk into that bedroom, that'll spice yeah. up your sex. And when oh you my. finish, you have to do it in a Z. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or the opposite. She'll then, never want to go to therapy again. She'll be like, this is not working. Right. We're never going to do anything like Zorro this. Like a toaster. Yeah, you may. I, I believe there is a new Zorro show out, so maybe it's oh, somewhat top of mind. Okay. <laughs> Just an unusual costume. He's got the mask. He's yeah. got the hat. He's got the, the sword. Mm -hmm. You know, and the cape, of course. The cape's what really helps. <laughs> use it to clean Maybe up afterward. Oh. The movie gets way too into these scenarios. And then she's like, wait, okay, I'm okay with vanilla sex. This is too much for me. Yeah, go above and beyond. Then she'll back down. Good call. <sighs> yeah. The Zorro thing might work in the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so far, I think we're 0 for 4. What else have we got? Dear Allie, I just had a big breakup. And one of the couples me and my ex-boyfriend would double date with are in a secret open relationship meaning they're allowed to do stuff outside of their marriage, just trying to not let the others find out. I've had no luck meeting someone online, so all I keep thinking about is this guy. Is it crazy for me to pursue this? I think a big part of it is just getting back at my ex or getting info on my ex, but it's truly the only thing that excites me right now. Should I do it? Oh, that's tough because I, normally I would say, yeah, why not? But the fact that you really... It, it is kind of a covert way to get back at or learn about your ex. I'm all confused. I'm lost. I think I so uh, a, a couple broke up. Right. Okay. Their friends have an open relationship. Right. Uh, even though they try not to talk about it with each other is what I'm hearing. So, yeah. So they'll, they can go out and do their thing, but they, but they don't, don't come back and go, hey, it. I was with. Mm -hmm. So okay. she wants to get with the guy in this open relationship. Okay. But for all the wrong reasons. But it does sound like yes. some of it is for the wrong reasons. And Oh, so yeah. pillow talk, she could talk about her ex or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ooh. Move on. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the best idea. Plenty of other people out there. Yeah. If she's obsessed with it, though, I think she's going to do it. If that's all that's on her yep. mind. Yeah, you know? probably. Yeah, but. Mine's made up. Then what if her ex-husband or ex-boyfriend finds out she's slept with his best friend yeah, or one of his You friends. know what, though? That's the that dems to breaks when it yeah. comes to... <laughs> Breaking up. He'll probably hook up with the other woman. That so then be. it ends up being a big four-way at some well, point. I don't know if there's a which, problem. Which, which one's dressed as Zorro? <laughs> I lost my place. Well, let's, we have time for another letter. What do you got, Allie? Dear Allie, please settle a debate for me. If you know someone is flirting with you, but you have a boyfriend, do you need to tell them right away? Or can you wait until they ask you out or make a pass? My boyfriend says I'm way too flirty, and I never tell people that I have a boyfriend until I absolutely have to. But I feel like it would be really presumptuous to just start a conversation by being like, sorry, I have a boyfriend. Who's right here? Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think we're all going to have different answers. Um, <laughs> what is she doing that... She needs that constant reassurance? Is that what I'm hearing, that she has to flirt with all these other people? Yeah, I guess that's what it sounds like. He thinks she's flirting with everyone, and I think she thinks she's just talking to them. Uh -huh. I don't know. She probably knows she's flirting, but she doesn't think that she needs to stop until they make a pass. I don't I don't think you're being totally honest with us, ma'am. I think you like flirting. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. But you're not going to cheat. I think you're loyal, but you still like flirting. Uh, so... Mm -hmm. You need that ego boost. Yeah. You've got to flirt a little bit harder than just talking to someone for them to make a pass, right? Like there's touching, like a... Uh, 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 you well, that's... Know. It, see, I I, know. I'm a problem because I'm i I'm this person. I, 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 I'm not a cheater, but I like flirting. So, I don't know. So, hmm. um, as you're handing her her brassiere back, she says, by the way, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> So you think it's gone That's a little fairly hard. far. Before she lets him know. Hey, that's before you break out the Zorro hat. No, that's not flirting. That's... I think that's uh, intercourse wait, is what you got there. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, wait, I, do you feel bad, though, Josh, if you flirt to the point where she asks you out and then you have to be like, oh, I have a boyfriend? Because then, I mean, I have a girlfriend. Whatever you have. I don't know. You guys have all heard my flirting. It's, it's, it's when, very When I talk to Christy and yeah. it's, you know what I mean? It's all you know. bad. It's not... 
I don't think it ever gets to a point where they want to ask me out. <laughs> gotcha. It's like lighthearted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they say, hey, by the way, Josh, here's your underwear back. Uh, that was <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was a little too much. I I just went to get a coffee. I... <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We got one time for one more, Allie. Dear Allie, I've been seriously dating a girl for eight months. She wants me to go home with her for a few days in March to meet the family, and I really love her, but I absolutely do not want to. I mean, if they're out here sometime, that's fine, but I don't want to travel and stay in her childhood room oh, man. ever. How do I communicate this without making her mad? Ever. I, you know what? Ever. I don't know, but if you figure it out, please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Write yeah. a book letting everyone know how to yeah, do that. Yeah, this is a yeah. classic scenario. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Man, you never want to go back there? Like... That drastic? Yeah. Or can you go that stay at a hotel drastic. instead of staying with the family? Would that be an, like a That'd compromise? Be a, that would That's be a, a good compromise. one good thing. That might be yeah. your first reasonable answer. You're right still going to have to look at it. <laughs> you know it. And here are the pictures of her in the sixth grade. Oh. Uh, yeah. I would have thought guys want to stay in like their girlfriend's old room. No. No, I can't imagine that I mean, would be. I think it's a turn on for some guys probably. Probably. Isn't it? Like it's always in those, you know cheesy movies the where they sneak out of the room. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 the ladies at the guy's house and he's got the Star Wars sheets and mm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep going. The, that was the nice. The Farrah Fawcett poster on the wall, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, thanks, Allie. Allie, are you working this weekend? Yeah, I'll be back down in Florida, back at the Villages All right. on Saturday night and I'll go down there for the whole weekend. Yeah. What cool. kind of uh, air miles do you have? Do you have a... Uh, I have a lot of air miles. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I have a lot because I, yeah, exactly. They're they're useful, uh, but I keep accumulating them. They're hard to use. Like I always feel bad using them, so I keep getting more and more of them. Hopefully, they'll never expire. Cool. Okay. Well, it's always a great pleasure, Allie Breen, A L L I B R E E N, as I said earlier, and you can uh, weigh in with your love troubles. We'll see how we do. I think we were mi mildly helpful on maybe two of the letters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think so. Uh, All right. The other way, it was fun. Good friends talking about... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So long, Allie. Thanks, guys. Bye, Allie. Bye, Allie. Uh